they're gone now. I see bottles. Wait. I had equipped it, that's why. I can't pick up these bottles? It's a lot of cash. Still can't get in here, right? Eh? You see a heavy steel door with the cobalt blue. All right. God damn it. Let's go talk to you. To gout. Can I help you? Here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Okay. That sounded like he was lying. Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a, f a fugue state. I would say fugue you, and then I remembered how to pronounce that. <laughs> Could someone on your staff have put them there? Who else has keys to the trash container? Let's go with number one. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Oh, we got a thought. Wait, what? Oh, this we no, we completed some kind of superstar. Okay. Okay. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Who else has the keys to the trash container? The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Hmm. Is that a hint? We need to go down the road? Thank you anyway. Thanks, let's talk about something else! Yes? What my bill for tonight? Got the 20 real. Come on, man, it's late. Do I really have to pay you again? The breath catches in his chest. The light in his eyes snuffs out all at once. After a moment, he speaks. Do you have money tonight? Uh, no, I don't. Too bad. Fuck. He mutters, he shakes his head and stops as a strange new cruel light rekindles in his features. But you know what? You're in luck because you don't have to ever pay me again. Uh... That's more like it, Gart. One free room, please. I'm sorry. I think you misunderstand. Let me explain. I didn't say I'd give you a free room. I just said you don't have to pay me. The corners of his lips turn into the slightest smile. What does he mean? You don't have to give me any money at all. If you want a room, yes, you'll need to pay me. But you don't have to just give me money. Giving me money for a room is your choice. Wait, I still don't understand. Do I get a free room or not? This isn't a choice. I have nowhere else to go. If you want a free place to sleep, fine. Dice flash with fury. You've already unlocked your new room. The trash container outside is ready and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well played, but we leveled up, sucker. The lieutenant is painfully silent. This was your responsibility. I cannot help you now. I am sorry. A new dimension of reality will open. Oh. A portal is this bed of waste. Sleep there and awaken. Oh I'll my swear. god. I, I, now I'm like, I want to sleep there just to see what happens. Probably nothing, but what does that mean? It is not clear. All that is known is... Sleep in the trash, and there is no coming back. Okay. Well, at least I got a place to sleep tonight. Thank you, Gart. He looks you in the eye. There is silence in the space between you. Yeah, we're winning this round. That's right. Get fucked, Gart. He is not proud, but he'll deal with that later. I don't make the rules, pay 20 real, or sleep in the trash container. It's not up to me. 
Now, is there anything you wanted? Goodbye. Some kind of superstar. <laughs> we get the superstar! Yes! They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal the cover fuck? girls. fuck? It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, fuck off and die, in a cool voice. You people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers. Or prime ministers. Or prophets. And you're the first one. Minus one logic, price of self delusion. I don't know if we're gonna sleep in the chat. I'm stirred up. Learning cap for visual calculus range to six and suggestion, electrochemistry, and composure. So those are like the four things that make up a superstar cop. Guess we should start up uh raising those. And we get so we got another level. I feel like I've been spending all my points doing this. Like I kinda wanna get. I kind of want to get a, uh, a skill point. Authority again? No, no, no. What was it? What was it that we needed for uh, Kuno? Empathy? Okay, physical instrument. We've already done that. Oh yeah, perception. Kuno and Tommy Leum is is empathy. Empathy is not a bad call here. Oh, rhetoric for cargo container door. That seems really interesting too. Plus, that works for Gaston and Sealing. I really want to break Kuno. Let's do it. So let's go talk to Kuno and see if we can see if we can break him and then we can check out the fuck the trap. How do I get him to go to sleep? Yes. What do you want to know? Good. Okay. Maybe I could tell him to go to sleep. Let's go, Kuno! Let's fucking go. I don't remember what I asked him before. Oh, but it should be highlighted, right? I remember there was like one... I don't think there's any. I think I've checked this a few times. Yeah, already at plus one empathy. <sighs> okay. Who else has unauthorized access to rolling trash? Find this person and you'll know who tampered with the scene. It may take a while. The pants. Those fallen track pants looked enticing, but you and Kuno were not close yet. You need to figure out what's going on with him. And then you can get your hands on some performance gear. <laughs> I know that we're a superstar cop, I think I've got to reassess my outfit. Does Kuno care? 92%! You were too pushy last time. Think this through. Try to really understand the psychological bond Kuno has with Kuno S. Okay. What's the deal with Kuno S? Just look. While Kuno has no problem being near you, she always hides behind the fence, afraid for her life. Like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. K 
Queen OS was the one who wound him up and directed him. Also, Kuno hasn't stopped talking to you, even enjoys it from time to time. When you talk to the other one, it's like talking to a cornered animal. She only hisses and says murder was the case that they gave her. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with them alone. Act on it. Try and separate them. Kuno, psst. Fuck you whispering about. He whispers back. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you f whispering about. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Okay, so I picked the other Don't two. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. What's up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy scary. Crazy? You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him. Kuno, I'm fucking warning you. You're gonna get us into shit. She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see? Did Kuno not tell you? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. Here we go. Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. He hunches down again. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her so she can't read his lips. What do you mean she smoked someone? Kuno means she killed someone. That's right. She's a killer. Like, actually a killer. He stares at you intently. His little green eyes are fixed on yours. Really? Isn't she too small to overpower someone? Are you getting this? You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think it is to kill a fat ass? Sweet talk him, then knife him. Pokes you in the gut. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Okay, how many cops has she killed then? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. He feels eyes on the back of his head and stops. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Hmm. You think she has anything to do with the dead man? Yeah, she would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Where were you? Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. Okay. He speaks the truth, my liege. <laughs> Uh, you said she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. None of that kitty psycho. Captain and shit. She does the real deal. Whoa. Yeah. You watch it sink in. What's the real deal? Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig. You don't want to know. What's that language she uses? Napa Kimpi Faggery? Fuck knows. She says it's the song of air people or some shit. What people? Crazy people. The fucking Nakis. I don't know. Some things are too awful to dwell on. The Nakis and Runkaris might be some kind of defense mechanism. Is she your sister? Fuck no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in. Like a mad dog or some shit. Stray? Yeah, she was just there. He points at the apartment building behind the fence. What was that, Kuno? Little one twists her neck, looking at the building. She was in the hallway, dripping wet, by the fucking shoe rack, in the dark. Kuno flinches, then lowers his voice even more. Uh, that hallway there with the janitor's closet? Yeah, that's the place. She was just balled up near the closet, psycho style. Why was she dripping wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days, in the corner, every time Kuno went out. You said she got in. How? I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home, and she's sleeping under the desk, under a pile of clothes, like a dog. What about your parents? Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there, or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno? Kuno-S? Two of a kind. 
Why is she called Kuno S then? Because she fucking looks like Kuno. You don't know her name? No one knows her name. Kuno told you this shit was psycho killer. How are you dealing with all of this? How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. <laughs> Spits through the gap in his front teeth. She needs professional help. You can't do this alone. You need backup. I'm here for you. Listen. Listen. C is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. Okay. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. You understand? The boy looks you in the eye. Black people is trying to focus. So we've got, I understand, Kuno. I can respect that. Who are you kidding, kid? You can't take down a man several times your size. You'll end up dead yourself. Okay. I can respect that. All right. Now we can do business. Business? Yeah. What do you want? Kuno can hook you up with. He starts no longer whispering. I don't hook him up with shit, Kuno. See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Remember when you tried to get Kuno to hook you up? We can get on that now. If you run a little errand for the Kuno, <laughs> Jesus. me and you, Kuno's going to hook you up with illegal narcotics. Oh, okay. See, it's tension and release with Kuno. Now we releasing. The pan buying shit, that's on now too. 90% discount for Kuno's pig. Kuno can flex. 90%? Kuno flexes for hobos. Kuno sees you're in need. What about, uh, what was that about running you... An Aaron and illegal narcotics, Kuno? Kuno gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. His eyes bulge. Their veins reach out like tree branches. Jesus. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. Hmm, this is very interesting, but I'll have to get back to you. Okay, okay. Dirty Popo Man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Uh... Who's your dad, Kuno? Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revishol. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks, too. Are you sure you can take on the most violent man in Revishol? In your condition. <laughs> we certainly cannot. Uh, how much material are we talking about? Like half. Half of what? A baggie, but like in this vial. But that's not very much material at all. Fuck you talking about half a G? This shit is giant grade A shit. So clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it because there's barely any. I've made up my mind, Kuno, and this is what's going to happen. Okay. Kuno's listening. I'm going in there all guns blazing to get that speed because I need it. I'm going in there, but not for the speed. I'm going after the most violent man in Revishal. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. I'm going there for justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. Lie, you need speed. <laughs> yeah. Going in there for justice. Uh... Justice. Sure. Confiscate it for Kuno, and you can have half. He gets it. So half of a half is a quarter, right? We're probably talking about a quarter gram here. <laughs> Just get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. He aggressively points at his eyes. Go to room 12. First floor and kick down the door. Police violence style. Kuno style. And then it's action time. You're locked in the room with violent fuckheads. That's it. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. Split a kilo, quote unquote, with Kuno. What the hell are you signing us up for here? 
Come on, Kim. Obviously, I'm not going to take it. We need to get drugs away from a miner. Okay, then. Is that more fair in physical instrument? Uh... Oh, hold on. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Yeah, he said that a few times. Hold on a second here. The trash container stands in the spring snow. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Time for bed! <laughs> the container sounds a muffled gong. I have to think about this for a bit. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can do that. I kind of want to see what happens, though. And it kind of it kind of matches with my character. We also want to stick it to Gart. This guy's gone. Eh? So how the f how do I get? How do I get him to go to sleep? Maybe I just pay for the room or do I go up? Let's, let me just take a look. Before we paid for a room and then he just said, I'm going to go to to sleep now. I don't I don't think I could sleep. In the... I'm going to get the room. Can I help you? Uh, about my bill for tonight. Got the 20 real? Yeah, 20 real for the night. You win this round, Gart. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it easy on him. Deep down, he really hates being the guy who has to remind you. All right, goodbye. So now if I go into the room, is... Is it late enough that he's going to want to go to sleep? See you in the morning. Bye. Wait, what's this? Empty cassette case. Was that there the whole time? How many other fucking things have I missed? There used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the Etienne's single smallest church in Saint Sand must have rubbed someone the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in 43. So we could pawn that. Yes. Uh the window stands broken. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. I think I should go check out the mirror. What was the check for that, though, before we... I guess I could just go see it. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet... <laughs> That that's a uh I, that reference is is um to contact. I got that one. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's barely covered in steam anymore. It's your face in the mirror, adorned with the expression. Okay, so we got electrochemistry and encyclopedia for that. Let's go out. Oh, I got it. I'm gonna pop some drugs. I don't know why I have to do that twice every time. Or does it have to be in the other hand? Weird. I probably shouldn't have done that. Fuck. Ow. 
after I do this, I'm going to take a really good look around. Okay, what do I need for this check? The bear's eyes are still glowing red. It's guarding over the freezing corpse hidden inside its belly. The boots. The body is reluctant to let go of the boots, as though it were its last bit of dignity. Whatever you're planning to do, you need to do it before you catch pneumonia in the cold draft coming from deep inside the fridge. Always go left first. It feels like the leg is going to come off along with the boot, but you're able to get the boot to move a centimeter or two. Okay, right boot? It's not completely useless. You're able to reveal a little more of the putrid polymer sock beneath the boot. See? The corpse doesn't care if you try to take his boots. He doesn't need them. He's probably glad to get rid of them. Adjust the see. Oh man. See, this is like a double-edged sword. It, it could well not a double-edged sword, but it, it could go one of two ways. Either this could like negatively affect my role or positive, positively affect it. I don't know. But it's there, so I'm tempted to try it. He's too heavy to move by yourself. A great mass of dead muscles, with hoarfrost covering his milky eyes. Is that an accusatory glance he gave you? No. No, he's cool. Try to twist the boots off one by one. This is the right method. Yes! It takes some time, but eventually the boots come off. With nasty slices of polymer sock stuck to even bigger pieces of skin and rotting flesh. Take stock of the damage. Not good. Let's pin this on the bear. The ice bear tore up his legs with its claws. As for the boots, <laughs> you can't possibly do anything with them until you've cleaned and disinfected them thoroughly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be wearing those boots, aren't I? <laughs> yes, these absolutely need to be washed before. The stink is incredible. Let's try to talk to him again, see if there's anything new. Shoot, Looney Rooney. How do you like, uh, how do you like it in that fridge? I like it a lot, brother. This really is your finest hour. You're a genius, a regular Coppolangelo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Enough. Come back later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also, see me in your dream. Oh, we already did that. Close the door. Sweet. Don't smell these boots. Better yet, don't even think about them. Unless it's to think about how you're going to get them clean, that is. For now, they're unsellable, unwearable, and just downright disgusting. These boots were probably left on the corpse because they were impossible to pull off while it was hanging. They're not exactly pleasant to look at right now, much less smell. Hopefully, you will know who they belonged to very soon. Will I ever be able to wear them? The size seems about right. Yes! Once you get the foul-smelling flesh gunk out. What the fuck is Kim going to say? It's just like... I wonder what happened to those boots Kim is going to be like. And then we'll be like, Ah, oh, it's probably... Someone else took them. Kuno. And then we're just wearing them the next day. <laughs> Isn't there a saying about walking in another man's shoes? You've seen too much to be that naive. Even if you don't remember it. You'll never know what it was like to be him. Put the boots away. So we have to clean them. Hmm. Getting the hangman's boots. Wash the boots in a kitchen somewhere. Well, we know there's a kitchen 